future. A rare Canadian-made Atari game surfaces in Brantford. When I saw this cartridge, I knew it wasn't anything that had been discovered yet. It's not Pac-Man or Pong, but in only a few days, a long-lost Atari video game has drawn more than 10,000 hits on YouTube. It was made in Canada, and as CTV's Matthew Kang tells us, the only surviving copy that we know about has surfaced in Brantford. You may remember the little man with a big stomach for dots and ghosts. Or the brave frog who redefined jaywalking. But this Atari game, donated to Brantford's personal computer museum, baffled the curator himself. I wasn't familiar with it at all. So the first thing I did was look it up on Google, and when I didn't find anything there, I knew we had actually discovered a treasure. Known as extraterrestrials, the game was made in Burlington, Ontario by Skillstream Games 28 years ago. The museum says only about 100 copies were ever sold, and this is the only one that's ever been found. Now, the museum only received the cartridge, no box or instructions, so they've spent a good amount of time just trying to figure out how to play the game. And they say in an age when technology changes so rapidly, finding something like this is the equivalent of finding an ancient artifact. Adam White has been collecting Atari games for over 20 years and says he never knew anything about its existence. And I thought I'd seen everything, and as soon as I saw this cartridge, I knew it wasn't anything that had been discovered yet. And his verdict on the gameplay? Uh, the game itself is not the greatest. But on top of being a rare Canadian find, the game is also a relic of a time when anyone who had the knowledge and money could make a game for a mainstream console like the Atari. And Sid Bolton says a find like this will never happen again. Everything's licensed, everything's controlled, so all the games that come out, we're aware of them, and even if the game never actually ships, we at least know about it. But Sid says he'll soon learn more about this discovery because he and the programmer behind Extraterrestrials have made first contact. Matthew Kang, CTV News, Brantford. Still to come on.